welcome to <laughs> me almost falling over <laughs> because I can't check. Because before, when we'd push record, it would say, do you want to go live or do you want to go? Yeah, but it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, so it's I just okay. push record and it starts recording. It's so. recording. Okay. So welcome to Riot. Welcome to Riot. I'm your host, Tisa, and this is... May May. And this week we're going to discuss just our week because... It's been another up and down week. Not too bad. Well, another urgent care visit, but that was it. We did have another urgent care visit. And, um, yeah, nothing has really... Kids got their grades. Those were fun. Uh, I... We went to the... No, we went to the regular doctor on, what, Tuesday to get... To see if Sindel's foot was broken. And I think we've had a podcast since then. We need to pay, keep track of this. We, lost we talked about it. She is she just broken. a drama queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. I remember. Yeah. Now I remember. And then the kids are the kids. I had to go to urgent care yesterday because Thursday I woke up and my throat was hurting. My ear was hurting. And I did usually drive them to school and work and do what I need to do before I have to go back and get them. And I let... I had to take the car and slept all day until she got home. And I still was falling asleep while she was here. I got mad at her because she didn't move. And when you're sick, you have to have lots of water. And she was asleep. I was laid there the whole time. But I was sleeping. What am I supposed to do? Drink while I'm sleeping? No, drink every time you open your eyes because I'm sure you didn't sleep through. I know you didn't sleep through. Uh, But that's okay. Um, and then my mom said, if it gets worse for me to go to urgent care. Her mom said that she needs to go to urgent care, and then I told her she should probably go to urgent care, and then it wasn't until another one of her friends told her she needed to go to urgent care that she's like, okay, let's go now. And I'm like, that's all it took? I'm going to start telling her that you need to go to urgent care sooner so that she'll bug you and hate, get you out of the house. <clears throat> I hate having to go to the doctor because there's always stuff wrong with me. <laughs> well, this time he gave you medicine and you feel better now, right? Yeah. So, so I got diagnosed with bronchitis and one of my lungs Something. Is, is having a hard time. But I don't understand. I quit smoking and all of a sudden, like, I'm getting sicker. You're in a new environment. I think that's what it is. I think some, because sometimes when you, like, when I go on vacation, I always get sick the first couple of days because I'm in a new environment. And I think that's what it is. You moved in and there it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just thought of something that I'll tell you afterwards. Um, <laughs> just that the boy needs to do the kitty litter. Oh, yeah. I oh. finished a book yesterday that was kind of um, mind-blowing. That took her six months to read. It did, because it got... Well, what happened was I had a book club for a while at my gym, and um, there was one month where we read a book about racism, and then I was reading this book, which was about racism, and then I kind of got overwhelmed. Because it's something you need to know, and it's something you need to understand about our society. And if you don't understand it, and you don't research about racism and how systemic it is, um, you're never going to be able to change anything. And the only way that we can change racism is by being open and honest about it. And being able to recognize it where you see it and um so I'm kind of in the process of that and um but this one book that I read was really intense it was called um The Underground by Airlines by Ben Winters it was by Ben Winters for sure but it was really it kind of it bothered me an awful lot and so when I was reading this other book by Jody Pick Picolt at the same time um it was overwhelming. So I put it down for about three to four months, and then I picked it up again because I really wanted to finish it because I really wanted to know what happened. And so I've just been reading it slowly. But I finished it yesterday, and it was really, really well done and really good. And the best part about it was she wrote an author's note because Jody is, you know, a white upper-class privileged lady, and she wrote about how she... Um, researched this book and how she how she did it and um, I have to give her a lot of respect because some of the things she said in there are things that I know that people who are in my circumstances need to hear a lot more of because it's not something that's talked about because it is something that's put under the rug and we can't let that happen anymore the other book that I was reading is called Underground Airlines by Ben Winters 
that was a good book. So all in all, I finished the book. It was really well done. She's an easy person to read, even if her subject matter gets really, really deep. And it's the first book I ever read by her. And it's not science fiction and it's not fantasy. So um, look at me branching out. I'm proud of you. You uh, even watched a cartoon. Uh-huh. Oh. I have another book by her that I want to read that I'm really excited about, but I don't think my mindset's in the right place to pick it up yet. So I'm going to finish the books that I have on my Kindle. Wow. And I've been doing a thing with her where she cannot buy any books. So I'm like, you need to finish what you've started. And so she's doing that. But she... Brought over her books this this week, and um, <laughs> some of my books. The other ones are in storage. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading the new the sh one of the Shane Dawson books because oh, I can't wait for his palette to come out. YouTube is another thing that the whole world seemed to get into, and the whole world knows all of these YouTube stars and everything. But I never watched it. I didn't care. I'd rather read a BuzzFeed list. Then watch a YouTube video. Because um, when I look at my phone, I don't like sound. I don't want to deal with, you know, noise. And um, generally when you do YouTube, you have to listen to it. So I just never did. And so now that Tisa's moved in and then I have teenage kids and my TV is a smart TV. Now I have YouTube on my TV all the time. And when my daughter was holed up on the couch because she quote unquote couldn't walk up the stairs. Oh my God. Oh watched. my God. We watched so much YouTube. It was the same chick. It was the... Uh, Melinda S Sings? Or? No, that was a... Uh, no, Lily. It was Lily, Lily Sing. Lily. And she's a... Uh, she is she doing, did Boss she, Lady or yeah, something. Yeah, she's doing late night. She's the first female late night TV host. She was... She's pretty. She's entertaining. And she did some good writing. But... She was watching her for 36 hours. Not so kidding. Literally. We went... She got on the couch and started watching it. And then... The next day, like 36 hours later, we realized she's still watching it. Uh, so that but she also has enough content. material because yeah. because it's been, she was on like what, five, six years? Mm -hmm. she, I mean, she might still be doing it, I don't know. But So <sighs> back to Shane Dawson, because Shane Dawson gets into some of the material that I enjoy reading and hearing about. They have gotten me to watch quite a few Shane Dawson videos. The ones where he goes to the Queen Mary. The ghost hunting ones. The ghost hunting ones. And the ones where they went to the Shining Hotel. And so I'm interested enough. And then I watched, you know, the stupid Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson. Tisa was watching it, so I finished it up with her. So it got me enough into Shane Dawson to want to know more about his story. So I'm, I'm giving him a shot. Yeah, see, but it, I've been watching him since the beginning for like 10 years, 11 years now. And... He's been on, he's famous, like we've been on YouTube at the same time, but I don't do sh material like he does. I just post music and stuff in the past 10 years, but I haven't written a song in like a year mm -hmm. or posted one. On, I have written music since in a year, but I haven't posted any videos in a year on YouTube. Which is a, your <clears> job. <throat> Which is my job. Yep. That's what I'm telling you. It's your job. Yeah. You also challenged me to write a song that I haven't. You started and that was enough. For me. In my head, I started it. I didn't write it on paper. But it's enough for me that you're thinking about it and you're starting to get back to that headspace again because creativity is mandatory, I think, in this life. I think that's why we're here, to create. I have lots of songs in my head, but I just don't write them. Wow. Because it sounds better in my head and then I try writing it down and everybody's like, well, then just do voice to text and then, you know, leave the note for you. Still doesn't sound the same the way that it is in my head. Yeah. But... I've been watching Shane Dawson for like 10 years, so, so watch him doing these skits into doing his little food things and then do him doing like challenges with other YouTubers and then doing the ghost hunting and then starting to do little documentaries with the other YouTube stars and Tanacon and the Jake Paul and all those things. And then now he's doing this Jeffree Star series. The first one was the light the, in the life of Jeffree Star. And then now this is the big one where, you know, he helped him put his merch out and that merch sold out so quick this week. So quick, like $80 for a little pig backpack. And, you know, the hoodies were priced good. They were like 45, 
but everything sold out all the way to the little, the cheapest thing was, I think was the iPhone cases and those were sold out too. Yeah. Everything sold out in like three hours or, or less than that. I don't even know, but I went to go buy more, went to go buy stuff and everything was gone. So, but then the new palette's coming out and this last one that he put out, the last video, either three or four, it was the $20 million, uh, $20 million one, the one that has that in the title. Uh, those colors for the lip glosses, they are beautiful. The lipsticks, ugh, the shades are so beautiful. Then they put them on like everybody. Andrew had his shade on. Like those shades are so beautiful. And the Shane shade, I like that one. And the... I don't wear lipstick. I know you don't wear lipstick. But they said, okay, here's the thing. I thought about you... Cause I was watching it and you, I think you left when I was watching it and I told you you had a little bit left, but, uh, Andrew doesn't wear makeup and that's the camera guy, the mm -hmm. redheaded dude. And he said it doesn't even feel, he forgot that the lipstick was on because it's so lightweight. And I thought about you because you don't like to feel like something's on your face. Right. But a lot of Jeffree Star's makeup and now Shane Dawson's palette and everything is supposed to feel weightless. So maybe you might like to start wearing makeup. You don't know. Yeah, if it covers what I need it to cover, then yeah. Okay, we'll look into it. Okay. We'll do a whole series. We need to do a series. Yeah, I just, I just, I have olive skin. And the problem is, with my olive skin, is I get dark spots real easy. And so my skin is not flawless. And I am uh, rather self-conscious about it, but I don't wear makeup. Because, nope. frankly, I want my mornings to be... I want to be able to get ready quickly without a lot of fuss. Here's the thing, though. She wants to get ready quickly without a lot of fuss, but she also wants a hairstyle that is so super cute, and she wants to wear makeup. So she's going to have to wake up an extra hour early if she wants to get these things done, and she doesn't understand that beauty takes time. But at the same time, it's just not high on my priority list. Now, that being said, I do understand that feeling good about yourself helps your self-worth and helps you feel better and helps you understand your value. And even though, you know, we're talking about things like makeup and, and hairstyles and everything, that does all go to your self-value. And it is important if it is something that means something to you, not necessarily mandatory, but it's something that if it means something to you and if it'll make you feel better about yourself, then it's something you absolutely should put some time into. And I get that, but I just... I have so much that I want to do over the course of a day that the things that are not as important to me don't happen. And so I want a hairstyle that's really simple and easy but cute at the same time. And I want, if I'm going to do makeup, I want to get it done in 10 minutes or less. And I want it to have coverage, so that probably is impossible. So spending an hour doing that shit is not something that's high on my priority list right now. If I could get you a half hour to do your makeup and do your hair in that half hour, would you accept that? I would experiment with that, yeah. All right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. We were supposed to... I didn't... I got sick, so there was no way of getting a hold... The one person that I messaged about doing the video this weekend didn't get back to me because she also had other stuff on her plate, so that's okay. Uh, but... Uh, we were, I wanted to do a video this weekend, but I'm sick, so there's no way that I had the energy. You know, one day I was out completely, so I didn't get any work done. <clears throat> but in the near future, we're going to do a video about makeup, and I can't wait at all. <laughs> because it's also a write-off. Any makeup if that we I make money, we can write it off. But we don't want okay, to just not... start writing uh, things off. What about all we these? Make a profit. Okay, all these business meetings that we had going to eat. Yeah, and if we can write them off, we will. But we have to make money in order to write them off, and we can only have a prop. We have to have a profit. How much is the at profit? At least two do we out of have? the next five years in order to have a legitimate business. Otherwise, it's going to be a hobby, and we cannot take our losses. So that being said, <sighs> we will see. So, how much do you have to make? Enough to be legitimate. How much is that? I don't know. Enough to be able to... You're the, the tax queen here, baby. I'm the tax queen, and if we make... 
<laughs> she didn't even argue that. Oh. If we make $600 and we get a...